and to care for Kuala, you know, who call this or what power what you want to see me. People is so we pay to do name. What's that? What's that? All the world of my young mama, why power to what's that? I'm lost in what you say. It is a dress. It is a no. Oh, who go and say the word? Oh, go and my mama. My mama says, I say, I tell mama, I tell mama, mama. Ni oku ko Jesu Oluwa ba mi de won mu. Bi won se ton ti awon mama wa loni Oluwa ma ka won ye. Imon lere je ko ma to yi won ka. Gbogbo awa ti awa ta ba wa se aye na ati ran ti na. Ni oku ko Jesu Oluwa ka wa ye. Gbogbo wa ti awa ni bi ata won ti won si bi enikenu a o ni gbo mo si. Imon le Oluwa yo ma si wa na. Ni ke gbogbo a o fi gufu ko ye. Jesu Christ Oluwa wa. Please let us have a a Nibati one day be, and one on the one nibo go be ye. Nibati go oki of ofa. Ati be ni badon. Ati be eh eh. Mono go madam do maso for me. I want no alone nibe. Oni te we mati be la ra osho. No ti be osho ni ye. Naba maso the street one to for she ye one. So one to for she ye one no ni. I want no ti be osho. The day you know that she man keep man one go bad. Ati be ni go bad. Play ati badon lo ti wa. เออซิสต์วอนซิสเป็นเบ็ดเรื่องก็มาจากเป็นเรื่องของซีโอ้โน่นอะไรที่ซิสต์ซิสต์เรื่องของอ่าวอนนอตซิสต์ซิสต์
Alachi Balagadiri Bababich. Ah, don't let me bore you. She was fantastic, wonderful, beautiful, and she made sure that before she died, she handed me over to somebody who could really look after me. And I thank God Almighty that I have all of you here as my companions. There is no one like a mother. Thank you very much. Alright, representing the grandchildren, one and one uh, first grandchild, uh, first granddaughter, I want to ask Shoki and Nipa Mama, Mrs. Koforo and Lawson. Thank you very much for being here. I don't even know where to start about my family. But uh, I spent several years uh, in Ibadan. And mommy has so many stories to tell me of my behavior when I was younger. But the only thing I could remember about my grandma was anytime I'm very ill, she's always there for me. Anytime I, I'm in school, she's always coming to see me. Whenever I'm on holiday, all she says is that I want Kofo to come to you and not stay with me. So to me, She's the second mom and the person I love most in the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. About me for one year after all. All right, like I said the other time, um, a new shadow of Oko, our Ronti Mamani, Injolo, Polo, Walini, and Kabi Ewani, Kali Fuwa. So, like I said, we'll call the children, we'll call the grandchildren and great grandchildren. Set Spain and Ashimako. I'm going to see the Ijo on my feet or on Laurel. Hallelujah. We are gathered here today to celebrate a woman. A woman who came, saw, conquered, and rested in the bosom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
We want to deliver a memorial lecture. I've been given 30 minutes to do that. And I try as much as possible to summarize my paper in 30 minutes. Sincerely speaking, if I have to delve much into the lecture, it will be more than two hours. But I will summarize everything in 30 minutes. Hallelujah. Mama Abiro. Hallelujah. Members of our Amiebu Okwala family here are present. Members of the OEIB family here are present. Members of Abiro family here are present. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it was a little over 10 years ago that our mama, Madame Raleigh Atu, at Duke Kokwala, departed this sinful world to join the Saint Child Fund as a celebrity, a mother indeed. Today, I'm to deliver a lecture titled, Who is a Mother? Who is a Mother? That is the title of the memorial lecture. It therefore gives me pleasure to be asked to deliver this memorial lecture in honor of a worthy woman, a mother who came, saw and contributed a quota to this world to the best of her God-gifted ability. Again, the topic today, chosen for this anniversary, is highly befitting for this occasion, as it poses a big question to womanhood with a view to admonishing ourselves for better living and better performance of our roles as mothers. Hallelujah. I will therefore crave your indulgence to be with me as I try to deal with this topic, touching on the biological, spiritual, societal, and biblical relationship of a mother to a child. And how well our mother really had to perform a role in this regard while she was alive and charged to do so as a sweet mother. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verses 28, and chapter 14, verse 1, says something about a sweet mother that our children call her blessed and her husband praise her. Indeed, there are many women in this world but there are just a few mothers. Women, many women, but just a few mothers. There is a world of difference between a woman and a mother. Broadly defined, a woman is just an adult female, human being. A mother, on the other hand, is known to be a female biological parent of a child. Theologically or self spiritually, a mother is referred to as a virtuous woman. That is, a woman of additional qualities. Hallelujah. A mother is an exceptional woman who is a real person, full of virtues, trustworthy, industrious, organized caring and loving. Someone who perfectly takes care of her home, sober, faithful, in all things not slanderous, and who does not gossip, backbite, or engage in any corrupt activities. That is First Timothy chapter number 3 verse number 11. Hallelujah. 
A mother, therefore, is a strong home builder, a strong home keeper, a strong home guide, a strong church builder, a reflector, a nurturer, a subtle disciplinarian, an enhancer, a special woman. According to the only Quran, chapter number 3, verse number 43, that is the Amadiyah Vashi. A dedicated woman, according to the only Quran 2, chapter 66, verse number 13, an honest woman. Quran chapter 5, verse 76. Hallelujah. In the main, therefore, we are today celebrating an exceptional womanhood. That is motherhood in our mama, Raliyatu, Obola. Hallelujah. And for that, she qualifies for a son that is commonly known to most of us. Sweet mother, I know go forget you. For the so far away, you so far for me. Sweet mother, yeah. Sweet mother. Yeah. For this reason, every woman should strive to be a mother and not a mere woman. That is, every woman should be a virtuous woman. The Bible describes a virtuous woman as someone whose price is far above rubies, the art of whose husband does safety, trust in her, a children rise up and they call her blessed. And her husband blessed her. That is Proverbs chapter 31, verses 10, 11, and 28. Today, therefore, marks a great day in the life of the Kokona family as we are celebrating our mother, Madame Rali Atu Aduke Bobola, who was the vessel that the Almighty God used biologically to deliver our highly respected Yeye Atinoke Abioro. And Paul said about the biological lineage concerning Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 5. It says, When I call to remembrance the unfaith faith that is in thee, which dwelt forth in your grandmother Leos and thy mother Eunice, I am persuaded that it is also in you. That is, whatever we are now witnessing concerning Yeye Atinke Abio must have been inherited from our mother and the grandmother. Hallelujah. Becoming a mother is to become an exceptional woman. And this should be the glory, the goal of every woman in this our time. Being a mother is the heartbeat of God for all women. So as to be able to positively impact on the society at large as, a, as role models, through whom the much desired societal reforms and moral improvements will be achieved from one generation to the other generation. Isaiah chapter 60, verse number 15. Furthermore, today we are indeed celebrating, ex celebrating exceptionality in our mama. For this presentation, therefore, it may be worthwhile to expand the word exceptional to that home, the point and emphasize on the need to be an exceptional woman as a mother and not an ordinary woman. I relate the expansion to fit into our mother, Rani Atu's character as a true mother. Therefore, Mama Rani Atu, and to get to Kuala was exemplary in a living. He was, she was extraordinary in her service to God. She was courageous in her dealings with difficult issues. She was empathetic to the plight of others. She was passionate about the welfare of her family and everyone that comes by. She was tolerant. She always considers other people's views on issues. 
she was innovative. Always ready to inject new methods or ideas to better the lot of people. She was obedient, which is, the, which is what God wants from any good person of faith. She was a nurturer, building up the gift of grace of God in many people's lives. She was attractive, very pleasing in appearance to draw attention of many people. She was very loving. A selfish lawyer with benevolent intention towards others. That is, our mama, Rally Atu, and to get Bobola was so exceptional. A round of applause for that. And therefore, strong stand that we should always use this type of opportunity to admonish ourselves with a view to making our good to become better and our better to become best. So that we can really be who we were created to be. I therefore enjoy all women here. You should take advantage of this great honor and privilege of this celebration to review the past and chart more glorious cause for your future in life and life after. A mother must stand out and be branded, like in the case of women of substance in the Bible. Those who live a life worthy of emulation, they serve God and also try to please Him by depending Him on Him for wisdom at all times. Wanting an exceptional life is always a, at a cost. You must, you must, and you must be willing to give up to go. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to take a cue from the women of Sultans in the Bible, like Ruth, like Priscilla, like Dorcas, like Mary Magdalene, like Mary of Bethany, like Mary of Nazareth, that's the mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Another, my sisters, you are unique women. You are very unique. You are actually exceptional too. No one is perfect. Can you therefore honestly evaluate yourself today and see how far you have come and how far, how far you will have to go to be a mother. A mother is not just an ordinary woman. A mother is a woman of exceptionality. A woman of substance. Hallelujah. Another purpose of this celebration today is to let you know that God actually has a unique plan for you. God has a unique plan for you. He wants you to recognize that you are a war in progress. A war in progress. A war on cause. Hallelujah. And you should learn to enjoy, not to suffer or weary, to be courageous and happy. Don't be a quit. Don't have that old give up spirit. God is looking for your courage to rise above negatives and turn them to become positive. When the battle seems endless, and you think, especially as family, a family woman, as a mother, when you think you will never make it, you just remember that you are reprogramming a worldly mind to think as God thinks for you. And God will now make you what you actually desire to be. Please ensure that you cast away your bad past habits and be identified with what is written, the injunction written in James chapter number one, verse number 21, and Job 11 14, and it shall be well with you. Once more, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, especially the families of Popola, the families of OEAB, the families of Abioro, and distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate you.
today and uh, for this occasion and I pray that God will bless you beyond your widest imagination. You will enjoy your life in good health, happiness and holiness in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Thank you and God bless you. A wonderful round of applause for Father and the Lord. What is so full one way and 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 one once again, a round of applause for Father and the Lord. Uh, if you are actually in front of me here and you are seeing the very uh, table in front of me, you will know there are plenty and a lot of dignitaries right here in the hall. Tomalino, Oh yeah, you don't see better than I read you better. 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 I read Oni emi to ba bo ko kuro ni bi te o ni ku kan o ko mo so lo ti se isiku yen ore mi o ti de o si wa nbe ko se ni fe lo nu gbogbo won all right um think i mean just about to ready dj sebastian e e ma ri pa won agbala ta lo wa nbi o ti le takasu fe sin sebastian se gbo okay okay come here just today Mommy, <laughs> Yeah, 
gente van a salir. Los muros de la ciudad.